Good day, everyone. Among the feasts of our Blessed Mother Mary that we celebrate, there are two celebrated in this month of September that I wish to mention today. The first is the recent feast of the birth of Mary on September 8th. Mary's birthday celebrates the fact that she was born for an exceptional purpose. Her entire life, she conformed herself to her son Jesus, his life, and his mission. Perhaps the birthday present she might like from us is that each of us grasps our mission to grow in holiness, centering our lives on Jesus through our faithful worship and good deeds. The amen that we say at the end of our prayers is our imitation of the fiat, or the so be it, that she pronounced throughout her life. Another feast of Mary celebrated a week after Mary's birth is the Feast of Our Lady of Sorrows. Sometimes we might want to shy away a bit from this feast. This feast, though, helps us to realize that Mary, in her humanity, suffered just as we do, anticipating her son's future suffering with anxiety. She had to leave her home to save the life of her child. Her child was temporarily lost. She witnessed the torture and death of her son. Mary's faith through all of this is not only an example for us, but we can ask her to intercede for us, to help us to carry the cross of our daily challenges. As we know, our life is temporary, and so then are our crosses. So may the light of our faith lead us through all of our crosses to the true light of everlasting happiness. Have a blessed week.